This is a, a, a TJM diff lock that we manufactured. And uh, diff, another diff place sent this to me to see what was the cause of this all bursting apart. Well, none of these bolts came out, which they suspected to cause it. Pulling this apart, we can see that all these gears have been seized. It hasn't been used in its proper way. That's how, that's what a diff does, differentiates, and this is what this diff lock was designed to do to stop that. And it's in that position, these gears can't rotate. Now, he hasn't been using this properly, this bloke owns this thing, because all these gears are seized. That one smashed whip right off, can't get these gears off, nearly comes off that one, but anyway, <coughs> so once that's smashed off there and everything's been flopping around, it's burst it's this top off, there's one of the socketed cap screws, which actually the head is pulled out of the bolt, might have been that one, or any of them, you wouldn't know, but anyway, that's all happened because it's been abused every rev of this uh, every rev of the side gear makes us go 1.6 rev because there's a these have got uh, 10 these have got 16 so it's 1.6 to 1 so if this is doing 200 revs this will be doing 320 revs and they only rely on splash lubrication, that's why the, they've got flats on these cross shards. But they quickly run dry under those conditions and suddenly heat builds up and they just seize. Like welded to the uh, gears. So, the whole cause of this failure has been that this diff lock hasn't been used when it should have been used. He's been lifted one wheel off the ground, just spun like mad, seized the gears, instead of using the diff lock, you don't have any of that drama. And uh, I wonder whether these blokes go to their tyre joints after three years and say, oh, my tyres are worn out, can you put another set on for nothing? It's always someone else's fault. It's part of human nature. Blame always someone else insidious part of human nature. A lot of people always want to put the blame onto someone else when it's their own fault. Anyway, that's uh, the reason why it failed. It's out of a hundred series, this diff lock. Gears have been going good. The, the gears have uh, got good wear on them. You know, there's no, they're perfectly made. Well, that one's come off, but you can see there the heat. Throwing up the malt, melted the steel, you see. None of the others will come off unless you bash them off with a hammer and a punch. But, um, you could even try that while we've got the machine going of yours. The machine, you mean my phone? Mm. <laughs> Let's see what happens with this. Bit of a bash with this. You grab a well here. Turn it around the other way. Well, it's on that side. Just pull that away from there, that's it. So that's another one off. See? See if this one comes off. Yeah, you know on. why this crown wheel bolts are all out, Dad? Because... They've been taken off. Reese or something, I took them all off. No, I did you That's did. what the lady told me. I don't care who took them off. I'm just letting you know. The old problem has come because these gears have all been seized up. Look at this one, you have to get this off under a press. Probably cracked the gear in half anyway, it's rooted anyway. Give us a look at that cross shaft. Give us a look, come over real press it off in this press. Do.
someone else's fault, not the way they've been driving the car. Ah, oh, we want someone else to pay for their lunacy. <laughs> That's a 20 ton press. Fucking Christ. Ah, that's fucked. But uh, anyway, you can see the siege marks. Look, see that? It's all got melted and uh, fused together. But that doesn't happen with normal driving. But if you use the diff lock, you'll avoid all that. That's the whole idea of the gain traction. Mobilise these gears and you don't have this drama. And they just want to lifetime warranty on anything they do, their own stupidity. So, all the heads of the bolts broke off. Yeah, that's right. So, abusive driving, not using the diff block properly, cause that's all, quite simple. Don't to be a rocket scientist to work out what this imbecile done. <clears throat> I'll stop this now, okay? That's it.